Hey guys, I'm Steve Random. Hope you all are having a great day, a great night, whatever it is where you're at. Today we got a fragrance battle as you all requested. However, before we jump in, 88.6% of y'all haven't subscribed. So please subscribe if you do enjoy this video, if you do enjoy any of my other videos, it does help me out if you just subscribe. It helps me see uh, a difference and realize that I'm doing something right. So I do appreciate if you do. And sadly, I am gonna be that YouTuber that's gonna mention that because I feel like if I don't mention it, nobody does. So I kind of have to mention it. So let's get into this video. We got, in today's video, we're gonna be seeing if this can get beaten by a cheap fragrance. And not even cheap like Mont Blanc Legend cheap, even though that's pretty cheap to be fair. <laughs> and not even like Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce cheap because that's not very cheap. That's about like 80 bucks. Um, whereas Mont Blanc Legend, I think is about $30 now. So it is pretty cheap actually. Why am I even doing this video? <laughs> So one of my subscribers mentioned this fragrance right here. Um, it's by Frank Oliver and it's called Passion Men Intense or Eau de Passion Men Intense. The Eau de Passion regular one that's not intense, doesn't smell like Percival. But this one, apparently, um, he, I don't know the comment exactly. I should have just screenshotted and read it, but I don't have it screenshot. Definitely well prepared for this video. <laughs> but I'm gonna put it up on the screen. And so basically I looked at that comment and I responded and I was like, I'm gonna get a bottle since it's only like $20. Um, so I was like, if this is a really good uh, cheap pee and a really good similar smelling fragrance to Percival, that would save me a lot of money because I'm most likely gonna get another bottle of this when this finishes. And it's only halfway right now, but it's going down fast. So obviously I really like this fragrance. I've been talking about it for so long that it's gone to the point where even right now, I don't want to even review this fragrance. So this fragrance versus this one, what is the pros? What's the cons? Y'all want to know, right? Because y'all don't want to spend like $185 on this fragrance and you've got an option right here, but do you have an option though? I'm gonna spill some of the things I've learned using this cheap fragrance that's only $20 and supposedly smells like Percival. So the first thing, it's definitely no doubt a lot cheaper than Percival, right? So I was like 20 bucks, might as well get it, right? And just give it a try, see if it's similar. Cause what, what have I got to lose? $20, right? Um, is it worth it? 20 bucks should be worth it, right? Um, but I was kind of disappointed a little bit. So firstly, I was disappointed with the longevity of Passion um, Men Intense. I was also disappointed with the opening. So let me explain. In the opening, Percival has this very um, teenager-ish deodorant smell, shower gel fragrance, right? Um, just your classic dude fragrance. But it does do well because in terms of compliments, I'm not gonna even go into that direction. It does do well. So it smells very, I guess, sort of that teenage vibe you get from it. But this one, however, Passion Men Intense, um, when it opens up, it smells like Percival. And I would say about 85% like Percival. However, there's like a 15, 20% that is making it even worse than what it's like. It, it smells close to Percival, but then there's this, just this one thing that's coming off where it makes it worse for me. I don't know what it is, but it almost smells like creamy in a way. It smells like a creamy, some, I don't even know what it is, but it just kind of, throws off the fragrance for me because I'm like smelling and I'm like oh it's so close to Percival hold up wait a second this smells off for some reason 
that's just my personal opinion guys i don't know maybe to other people it might smell the same but i got some good news okay it's 20 dollars. obviously i've said that probably five times by now um but it's also similar in the dry down which is good right but here's where this fragrance shines and it's obviously a lot more expensive so it's gonna be probably a better um longevity fragrance and it does really like just destroy passion uh men intense it really does destroy it in terms of longevity passion men intense i can probably get like four hours maybe but then it gets like after the four hour maybe five hour mark it gets very like 99.9 percent .9 similar to percival in the dry down it's very similar like no doubt it's very similar however it probably is like this much projecting off my arm maybe like even this much to where when i'm smelling it i i could barely smell it um and i don't know if it's just my nose fatigue but i'm not even smelling it for the whole four hours i i just check and i can't smell it anymore however this one i had like on the opposite hand i did this yesterday and i've been doing it for about a week and a half probably um, where i've been testing these on like whenever i'm just chilling out or free i've been testing them too the percival was just blasting i like i don't know what to say and here's the thing is that is that like difference in projection and longevity worth it for like 160 dollars more i don't know that's just gonna be your choice um but i i don't know i mean the the problem is there is also mont blanc legend which probably does last a little bit longer than this and then if you pay about like 70 bucks more, it's $80, maybe $90 total. You're gonna get yourself Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, which destroys this one out of the park and destroys Mont Blanc Legend in, uh, out of the park. And then it doesn't destroy this one, but it's as close as you can get. And sadly, uh, Passion Men Intense the only positives I have is that the dry down, like the, the absolute dry down, like maybe five hours after it's been sprayed, smells identical to Percival. The opening is an off-putter for me. It just smells like metallic, creamy. I just don't know how to describe it, but it makes Percival mixed with like a chemical kind of smell. I don't know what it is, guys. And... I can always read the notes, but the notes aren't even too similar. So I don't know what, what it is that's off-putting. If I do find out, if I do read more into it and see, I'll just post it right now on the screen and maybe like just an update for y'all. The positives, as I was saying, very similar dry down, um, cheap, but the, the number two is cheap, but you gotta add Mont Blanc Legend is like, maybe 10 bucks more than this fragrance in terms of price. And then 70, $80 more is Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. So if you can just like save up $70 or $10, I think you're getting a better fragrance than this one right here. And it sounds like I absolutely hate this fragrance, even though it smells similar to Percival. So why don't I hate Percival? This is where I'm gonna move on to this side real quick and explain why I just prefer Percival a lot more than this fragrance. So why do I prefer this fragrance a lot more? One, the opening is, it's like, it's great. There's nothing to really complain about. Um, here we got the creamy metallic. Here we got nothing to complain about. Number two, longevity, performance, projection. In that scale, like this one's up here and then Passion Man is like way down here, guys. So I can't compare those and those two. Um, but I always questioned when I was doing this um, and going through this, is $160 or $170 more 
worth it just for that longevity and projection? And I would say, yeah, it is. But also $70, $80 more is also still worth it because you get Fierce, which also projects and lasts long. And then this one, just to completely destroy Passion Man, I feel so bad, even for the subscriber, but this, don't worry about it. Um, whoever commented that, I did enjoy comparing these two. Um, but another thing, first of all, does better is that when it's in the air, it smells a lot more pleasant than Passion Man does. It's the same like as the opening where it's like a creamy metallic addition to Percival. But yeah, that's, I mean, I can't really, you know, bash this fragrance that much because it is $20 and it is pretty close to Percival. But all in all, um, I would say your best bet is getting Abercrombie and Fitch Fears. And if we're just comparing these two side by side, I would say, Give, give this one a try because it's twenty dollars. It, you know you can't really go wrong. Um, it's just for me, since I own Percival, a lot of the downsides came out a lot earlier than expected. Just because I love this fragrance, so having a similar fragrance or having a fragrance that smells similar to it that doesn't do the greatest job, kind of just annoyed me straight away. It's like almost like. People that love Aventus and they smell Club de Nuit Intense Man and they smell that lemon uh, cleaning vibe or whatever people were explaining at one point. It's like that you automatically get put off, but then in, in the dry down, it's pretty good. That's exactly the same case here. The opening's off putting, but then the dry down is pretty nice. Only wish that I could s smell it a little bit more from this fragrance. So yeah, that was a lot of uh, rambling and shambling and whatever about uh, Passion Man, but I was being 100% honest with you guys as I always wanna be. I did purchase this myself. I mean, it's $20, but anyways, I probably said $20 at least 10 times this video. Hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, let me know, and peace.